very excited to introduce you to our new game ready machine at Moose Physiotherapy. Uh, our game ready machine is going to be available for use within the clinic, but also available for hire and rent to use at home. If you have any interest in it, if you've got any questions, drop us a message. But just to run you through what to expect with the game ready machine. So a game ready machine combines ice, so cryotherapy and compression. It is far, far better than any other option that's on the market. It is a passive modality, but it has a uh, element of compression, different cycles that we can go through to really help with swelling management, lymphatic drainage, and more than anything, manage your pain and accelerate your recovery. So just to walk you through what to expect when you open up the box, and then we'll show you how to run through the settings, how to use it, and how to keep it clean so that it comes back in the same state that you received it in. When you open up your game ready machine, um, you will have your body part in here. So at the moment we have a knee, an ankle and both shoulders. Take that out and then that will uncover the game ready machine. So the game ready machine will be clipped in and we're just going to start by unclipping that. In here you will find the instruction manual the cable which will attach between the game ready and the sleeve which you're using and the power cable. There is some other bits, the other end of the power cable, a different attachment in there but you don't need to worry too much about those. So when we open up the um, game ready, what I want to show you is what's happening on the inside. So here you will see two things. On the right, as you look in, you'll see a small blue line and that'll have number one. So that's the amount of water we want to fill up to in that line. Then the second one you will see is the ice. So ideally we will use ice cubes or crushed ice, but we appreciate that that can be difficult in terms of reusing. That will be much more effective for your recovery. The other option that you could do is use some smaller sandwich bags or ice packs that you can pack into there. But you definitely want to be filling this as high as possible to then help create the pressure but also to make sure the water is as cold as possible as it cycles through your um, attachment. As you'll see I've already plugged the power cord in. I'm then going to take the bigger of the two ends of the distribution cord of the water and I'm going to plug that in to this socket here and it just needs to go in with a click you unclip it using the red button, so I'm going to pop that in. At the other end, I'm going to attach this. Now, what I would suggest is that you put the garment or the attachment on first. Obviously, wrap it round, lock it off with a Velcro, and then attach this onto there. That should then, everything should be ready and preloaded, ready to go. Hit the power button, so I'll just turn off quickly and turn back on and everything will turn on as you see it. It will restart at this point every single time. So what we have is the target temperature here, we have the, the run time, and we have the pressure up here. So I always, would always recommend, a, a, especially acutely post-surgery, that we want to get this on sort of once every 60 to 90 minutes for 20 minutes. So with these buttons here, I just hit plus, that takes me to 20 minutes. I would again, always encourage people to aim to start at the coldest point possible, but please don't push through any pain. If there's any signs of a cold burn, anything like that, just bring this up, speak to us, let us know. But I've never known anybody have a problem starting here, but if that is you, please don't feel that you have to push into that. The next thing that I will always set is the pressure. And again, I would always recommend that someone starts at high. But remember, if you're in too much pain from the pressure, just drop it down. You can just start with the pressure off and just use the icing feature and build up through that. But I would always recommend we start on there and then we scale back based on how we feel. From there, we can just press play. You'll hear everything turn on. We haven't got any water in at the moment. You'll feel things filling up and then the cycle will just run. The other options that you may have, and I would encourage you to read the manual around this. So if I just reset this and start again, you can run different programs. 
and what you'll see here is program one is if you're bed bound or if you're laid up on the sofa you may not want to keep getting up and turning it off and on off and on while this stays cold you could set the um program as a 30 minutes on a 30 minutes off then we can adjust the pressure as we cycle through but at the same time that run time and sleep time is changing have a play around with it if there's any questions let us know but like i say the main thing that i would say is a 20 minute run time with medium to high pressure with your um with the setting as cold as possible and if there's any problems, any questions, please give us a ring. One of the most important things is the shutting down of the game ready. So obviously we want to press the off button and have everything turned off. From there, I would just let this drain slightly, unclip, and you might get a little bit of water out of there, but it shouldn't be too much, providing that this, the uh, cycle is finished. The big, big thing that I want to really stress to you is emptying this we don't want any stagnant water in there but more than anything is when you've taken the attachment off with a towel or something i want you to dry the attachment and i want it laying over something to dry please do not take it off fold it back up and hold it there one of the things that can happen with the game ready uh, attachments is they can start going moldy and unfortunately, because of the cost of things, we will have to take action if, that, if the uh, garment comes back in any uh, unfit state or a state that it hasn't arrived in. So yeah, if you can dry it off, hang it to dry in between uses, uh, particularly overnight, that would be absolutely awesome. Try not to just shove everything back in that box and the humidity increase. Um, but yeah, any questions, any issues, let us know. And Good luck with your recovery.